for. For that, let's turn over to Ambassador Yusuf Maitama Sule to give us an insight into who the man Sadauna was. Yes, he was a leader, a true leader with all the qualities of leadership. A true leader who led by example. A leader whose leadership was accepted by all and sundry, irrespective of tribe or religion. A leader who led with the philosophy of a herdsman. The herdsman that sacrificed his life, his health, his comfort for his cattle. A leader, a political leader that came into politics to serve but not to be served, to give but not to take. A leader whose philosophy then, if used today, could solve all the problems of Nigeria, political, economic, and social. He was a leader whose leadership cut across tribal, religious, and cultural boundaries. A true leader who led by example. A leader who believed in division of responsibility. He believed that some people are destined to be rulers, some are destined to be uh, workers, some are destined to be this or that. And each is, has to keep to his own sphere of responsibility. He used to tell us in those days, and that was what made him great, that you cannot do two things at the same time. Any of my ministers that wants to go into business should resign his appointment. I will encourage him. But you cannot do two things at the same time. You cannot be a minister and a businessman at the same time. That was Sardona, a leader who studied the problems of his own people and worked to solve those problems. Yes, that was Sardona. His greatest achievement is something that we should learn today. Sardona, under his leadership, had all northern Nigeria, all the tribes of northern Nigeria united. There was no question of religion or tribe or status. No. One day, if I may tell you this small story, the Sardona went to the king's way to do shopping. He met some students, and he asked them what they were doing. They said they were window shopping. Then he said, let each one of you go and pick one item. I will pay. They did. And he asked his servant to go and settle the bill. Unfortunately for him, the servant, he asked one of the boys, where do you come from? What tribe are you? When Sardona heard this, he said, don't ever ask such questions. He is my son. It doesn't matter where he comes from. I am his father. If you ask such questions again, I will dismiss you. That was Sardona. In those days, people in the north did not call themselves by the names of their tribes or religion. They were all Yang Ariwa, northerners. Right. That was the Sardona. Right. A great leader. What happened along the lines? Today, are there cracks? Are there no cracks? How did the cracks come about? Could we sit back today and say, the Ariwa of the Sardona talked about is the Ariwa today? No. Today, hmm. we are no longer what we were. What is happening today is not in our character. The norms and values left by Sardona and our founding fathers are no longer with us. They are not with us. Today, as I have often described the situation, the institution of family has broken down. The respect for elders and constituted authority, which used to be our cardinal principle in our society, is now at its lowest ebb. Honesty, why it does not pay, has become meaningless. Sympathies of revolt loom large in the horizon. In short, there is meaninglessness in philosophy, 
insecurity in polity, chaos in politics, immorality in society, corruption in economy, frustration in art, and lack of creativity in literature. This is not what the North used to be, or Nigeria as a whole. Ours was a decent country whose leaders respected one another in spite of their political differences. Ours was a society that was morally sound. It was a society in which all of us were our brother's keepers. It is not the same today. Perhaps some people say we have been brainwashed by our erstwhile colonial masters. It is true to a certain extent, but we are to a very large extent to blame because we are masters of our fate. We should be captains of our soul. Today, as I have said, we are no longer ourselves. Our cultural values have been thrown overboard. If a people lose their culture, and Sadona was a man of culture, and that was why he organized the annual cultural festival. It started from the north. Today we are trying to abandon our culture. And culture is the identity of the people. People often mistake culture as mere dancing and singing. It is much more than that. Culture is the customs and costumes, the characters and the characteristics, the manners and mannerism 